Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial on MATLAB programming and in this particular session I am going to show you how you can write a MATLAB code for k-mean clustering where uh, if in a particular situation you need to make only two clusters okay later in my some other uh, upcoming videos I will show you how you can uh, modify that particular uh, code to any cluster okay that means uh, that may be five cluster uh, seven cluster whatever okay so let's discuss i hope already you might know that what is uh, k-mean clustering simple basic idea how it works then only you are watching this video for implementation purpose so here one particular uh, scenario we have taken that we want to group the visitors to a website using just their ages okay so in a particular website uh, different uh, users are watching uh, the content and uh, what are what what is the age of the users based on that we want to form two clusters okay so here the data set is given as 15 15 16 19 19 20 20 21 22 28 like that 19 samples are given and uh, for this particular case, I am taking k equal to 2 that means two clusters we, I have to form where my initial assumption of mean values are 16 and 22 which is taken from the data set here 16 is there and here 22 is there okay based on these two uh, mean uh, uh, by several iteration we have to form two clusters okay so here uh, clearly the theoretical procedure is mentioned how we iterate okay and as soon as we get uh, uh, in a particular stage uh, the mean uh, two mean values is equal to mean values of the previous stage then we stop the iteration and we say that two clusters are formed okay like that it goes like so here is the MATLAB code very simple so CLC clear all close all if you want you can write warning of also then format bank okay bank format I am taking uh, for simplicity purpose if you want you can take some other format also then x equal to input enter the sequence I am taking the input and here k equal to input enter the number of clusters you want to form rather here I can directly write 2 okay then g equal to length of x I am calculating all right now if you observe I have told you 16 and 22 are two values which we are taking as mean for the first iteration purpose here you can see the 16 the value is appearing where this is first index second third so 3 and 22 is appearing uh, 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 3 and 9 are the two index of the first two assumed mean so that I have taken here IDX index positions as 3 and 9 then C it is storing initial mean okay X of these two index 3 that is X of 3 and X of 9 will be stored in the C matrix okay or C array we can say then temp equal to 0 I am defining one uh, empty uh, I am defining one temp variable which is taking value 0 and the value will be changed as soon as our uh, mean values in a particular iteration will be equal to mean values of our previous iteration okay k1 and k2 two empty array we are defining to store the different clusters m1 equal to m1 new that is new mean obviously we have we should have four variables one is new mean for first cluster and second cluster two variables will store the two new means and previous means previous means will be stored into different uh, variables right uh, so that is m1 old and m2 old like that you can write so m1 new equal to c1 and m2 new equal to c2 okay then while temp equal to zero that means this particular loop will go uh, up to that point when, when up where temp equal to 0 c equal to m1 new m2 new as already uh, we are basically simply storing the two new means and m1 old equal to c1 m2 old equal to c2 all right because in every iteration the new means we have to take and we have to calculate the distance okay so old will become new one so basically what we are doing m1 old equal to m1 new whatever new mean we are getting in a Iteration that will be used for the next iteration so old will become uh, new okay we will replace that so that m1 old equal to c1 m2 old equal to c2 then we are calculating the distance Euclidean distance or Manhattan distance whatever you say for i equal to 1 colon length of x for each uh, data value we are calculating the distance here one dimensional so that only subtraction result absolute part we will check so if abs of x of i minus m1 old then it ABS of X of I minus M2 that means that X of 
identify that particular element will be closer to M2 means it will be mapped to second cluster okay so K2 equal to K2x of i else that means that will be that particular element will be closer to the first cluster so that k1 k1 x of i okay and this if else in this internal for loop then m1 new new will be new mean will be what mean of our cluster 1 and m2 new will be what mean of our cluster 2 okay a data elements of the cluster 2 and what we will do if this old uh, mean and new mean are equal that means we will make temp equal to 1 and as a result while loop will be broken okay it will not go in further iteration but if they are not equal that means if m1 of new there is new mean of uh, first cluster not equal to new mean of uh, 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 old mean of first cluster and simultaneously new mean of uh, second cluster not equal to uh, old mean of second cluster that means we have to go to second iteration then again we will define uh, the two clusters as empty for the next iteration so k1 equal to an empty matrix k2 equal to an empty matrix that's all simple logic right so in this way we can get two clusters okay so let me show you enter the sequence so simply i am copying the data sets from here so let me take this one okay so here enter the sequence control v okay and here if i write uh, k1 uh, in which my first uh, class uh, elements of the first clusters is stored and k2 in the k2 second uh, this is second cluster where second data elements are stored you can clearly see here you can match in theoretical way what we got the clusters two different clusters see 15 15 16 19 19 20 20 21 22 28 right here what we are getting for the first cluster 15 15 16 19 19 20 20 21 22 28 exactly matching and for the second cluster k2 here in the theoretical way we got 35 40 41 42 40 44 60 61 65 similarly here in the uh, computation uh, matlab computation also we are getting 35 40 41 42 43 44 60 61 65 so exactly two results theoretically and the practical both are matching okay so like this you can implement the matlab code for cluster of two okay two clusters if you want to form then you can use you cannot make it general with this particular code but we can modify the code for cluster any number of cluster that may be five six seven that is the input given by user all right so that i will show in my next video anyway i am going to post the same code in the uh, comment section of my this video if you want you can check there okay this is all for my this video thank you for watching